APRS Tastic, what it is, why you might want it, and I'll even show you how to get it set up and running. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. One of you guys, one of the viewers, sent me a project called APRS Tastic. Now, exactly what is this project? Well, it's a way to blend Meshtastic with APRS. And this is a pretty cool little project. I've already been talking about it in the newsletter. Wait, you are subscribed to the newsletter, right? Well, if not, you're missing out. It comes out once a week, and I promise not to spam you. There's a link down in the description below. But APRS Tastic allows you to send a Meshtastic message to a particular node that you have established as the server and allows that to go out over the APRS network. Now, one thing I do want to note before we dive into this is this does require the internet to work. So APRS Tastic is kind of like a web service, if you will. Now, for today's tutorial, I'm going to be using the Helltech and a Raspberry Pi Zero 2W. These are both inexpensive devices, and that's all you need to get up and going, besides a little bit of uh, loading applications onto the Raspberry Pi. Let's go ahead and jump over to the computer, and let me show you how to get this up and running. Now, I have loaded Raspberry Pi OS, the legacy version, which is now Bookworm. But I loaded the light version because I really didn't need a GUI interface. If you choose to do this with a GUI interface, that's okay as well. But do keep in mind that things change as new versions of the Pi OS come out. Now, once you've booted up your Pi and you're looking at it from a screen or SSH, go ahead and do the update and the upgrade to make sure your Pi is fully up to date. Now, I'll leave a link to the APRS Tastic GitHub down in the description below, but this is where I'm getting everything that we need for this build, including the commands that we're going to run later once we get it built and running, and the installation and configuration. Now, we want to make sure that pip and git are both installed. We will do that with this command here, sudo apt install hyphen y hyphen 3 hyphen pip space git. Go ahead and press return and give that a couple of minutes to do its thing. Next up, we're going to run pip install APRS tastic space hyphen hyphen break hyphen system hyphen packages. Now, if you understand virtual environments and you want to go about it that way, be my guest. I don't care to run with a virtual environment in this particular case because it's the only thing running on the system. And if I break a system package, well, it's just not that big of a deal. Now, you may run across a few warnings like I have during that last command, but don't worry about it. It's perfectly okay. Next up, we're going to run python space hyphen m space aprs tastic. And this is going to fail because we don't have the config file built yet. So we're going to see an error right here that's perfectly acceptable and exactly what we want. To overcome that, we just need to do a couple of configuration things. We're going to run nano space tilde forward slash dot config forward slash aprs tastic forward slash APRS tastic dot YAML. Go ahead and press return and that is going to bring you into this screen here. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and put our call sign in right here. So I'm just going to use KM4ACK. Obviously, you need to use your own call sign. Then we need the APRS IS passcode. If you do a search for APRS passcode generator, these will be your results, and we're just going to use this very first one right here. I'll go ahead and plug in my call sign. I already know my passcode is 20389, but if you don't know yours, plug in your call sign and then click Get the Passcode, and it will give you that passcode right here, which is 20389 in my case. Again, use your own passcode. Back in that configuration file, we're just going to put that information in, and that should be the only thing we need to do to get this up and running. Now, before we exit out, I do want to show you one thing right here, and that is this type serial. 
If for some reason that doesn't work, you would need to give it your exact location of where your mesh tastic device is located on the system. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. For the time being, let's press Control S to save this and Control X to exit. Now, if you need to figure out exactly where your mesh tastic device is linked in the system, we're going to run the command ls space hyphen l space forward slash dev forward slash serial forward slash by hyphen ID. Go ahead and press return and you'll see that that shows up as USB zero. And that is what you would want to plug in to the config file if you needed to, if it didn't recognize it just with serial. If nothing shows up right here, double check that USB-C cable. Not all of them are created equal. And if it's not showing up here, chances are it's your USB-C cable that's the issue. Now that we've got our call sign and our passcode set, we should just be able to run Python space hyphen M space APRSTastic to get the server kicked off and running. And you'll get some information here about it, such as the login was successful that you see right here. That lets you know that your call sign and your passcode were entered correctly. If you see any errors here, go back and double check your work and make sure you didn't miss anything. Okay, so once you've got your server configured, go ahead and open up your MeshTastic app on your phone and locate the node that is your new server. In my case, it's this MeshTastic 5138 seen two minutes ago. I'm going to go over to my messages and find that node and try to send it a message. Now, we should register with the service first, but I'm going to show you what happens if you don't register with the service to begin with. So let's try sending a message to MPAD. And guys, when you're sending it, who you're sending it to has to be in all caps, followed by the colon, then the body of your message. So in this case, I'm just going to send it MPAD colon space, and I'm going to give it my zip code because I want today's weather. Let's go ahead and send that, and it should return an error here in just a second. You can also see on the screen Sorry, my MeshTastic device has a, a beeper on it. Uh, but you can also see on the screen in the output for the server that it says pound register call sign hyphen SSID. And that's because I didn't register. You also see that same information in the MeshTastic app. So let's go ahead and register now. So we'll send it exclamation point register. We'll give it a space and I want to give it my call sign. And I'm going to give it dash eight for the SSID. Let's go ahead and uh, send that message and it should come back telling us that we are registered. Once you're registered with the system, we can go ahead and try sending that APRS message again. And we'll be sending the same message, MPAT in all caps, colon 37130. Let's go ahead and send that and it should take just a couple of seconds to get a reply. And there's our reply from the system. And that's how easy it is to use APRS Tastic to bridge those two systems. Now, I have run into some instances where the server is crashing. What I did to overcome that was just wrote a very simple bash script and then automated it with Cron. I will leave uh, all of that down in the description below so you can follow along if you need to as well. All of the information you're going to need will be on that single page. The other cool thing about this is you're not the only one that can register with this system. If you've got MeshTastic in your area, anybody that's got a MeshTastic signal to your node would be able to register and use this as well, assuming they've got a valid call sign. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.